Hi, this is Devin, and this is Let's See If We Can Break It. Today I'm going to be talking about some of those fancy foiled filaments for your FFF printer. Uh, I'm talking about carbon fiber. They're expensive, they look cool, and do they print cool? We're going to find out today. I tested a whole bunch of nice ones along with some kind of regular uh, standard PLA and that type of thing to see which ones would perform the best. And let's get into it. This is a homemade uh, 3D printed uh, three-point bend test rig. It's supported on either side and then there's a thing in the middle that pulls down. I register how many pounds of force on this spring scale and then I can read off the millimeter ruler how much deflection there is and I do that until it breaks. And then I write it down and I do it again. Now for this test, I looked at strength, stiffness, and toughness. Uh, briefly, strength, how much force it takes to break the piece. Stiffness, how much force it takes to make it bend a certain amount. And then finally, toughness, which is a uh, measure how much energy um, the piece can absorb without breaking. Basically, how much abuse can it take before it finally gives out. I'm just going to go over the highlights now. Um, the full spreadsheet is down there. Uh, there's a link in the description. The best, strongest, fancy filament has got to be the carbon-filled nylons. They are amazing. Uh, if you're not quite sure what you're going to use a filament for, this stuff is the best. I tested the 3DX Tech Carbon X CFR Nylon and the Rigid Ink Carbonite Black. Both of those in 1.75 millimeter. Performance was very similar among both of them. Uh, close enough, it probably doesn't really matter which one you pick. It probably has more to do with the uh, shipping because um, one of them, the 3DX Tech, uh, ships from the continental United States and the Rigid Ink comes from England, so you're gonna pay a little more for the shipping. But overall, perfect balance of strength, stiffness, and toughness. Probably the best filament you can get right now at any price. So, carbon-filled nylon, number one. Runner-up is going to be the carbon-filled PLA and HT PLA. That's high temperature PLA. These are also really good. They're quite a bit stiffer than the nylon with the carbon filling, but uh, they don't have quite the same uh, strength or toughness. I tested the 3DX Tech Carbon X CFR HT PLA. See that there? There we go. And the Protopasta Carbon Fiber PLA. And also the Carbon Fiber HT PLA. Again, that's the high temperature. You can print at a higher temperature. And it Again, these are very similar between the three of them. Very stiff. These are the stiffest. The particular, the um, Protopasta Carbon Fiber PLA is the stiffest filament I've tested. It's uh, incredibly stiff. And you could cook it, heat treat it to get it even stiffer, but it does make it uh, a, little, a little brittle for my taste. I think it's probably not a good trade-off. Twice as stiff as PLA and uh, a good price too can't go wrong with those. So, PLA with carbon. Uh, some pluses and minuses with the carbon-filled nylon, the carbon-filled HT PLA and PLA. The nylon does take on water, so um, you're going to have to keep it in a bag. Bridging sends you this little bag here that you can zip lock closed. Or you're going to have to put it in your own container. I put a bunch of little desiccant baggies in there to keep it dry. And uh, it does take on water, and you probably need a heated bed. Uh, I haven't tried it without, but I'm told you need a heated bed. Uh, whereas the carbon-filled HCPLA and PLA don't have to keep it dry necessarily, the same we do with nylon, and you can print it on just about any printer out there because it's still PLA, but you are going to want a steel nozzle because it does wear it out pretty fast. Um, and I printed it on a 0.5 diameter nozzle and it is printed very smoothly. Very good. Worst fiber tested is going to be the Okuma Carbon Fiber ABS. 
I was really excited to try this stuff out because the numbers they published were amazing. In fact, they were a little too good to be true. Um, because the base material is still ABS, which is not known for not known for being a particularly strong or stiff. And I don't think any amount of carbon filler is going to change that. So this one did not do well. It actually performed at the very bottom of the carbon filled fibers, more in line with a standard uh, PLA or some regular filament that you might buy. Um, which is too bad because it's actually pretty expensive, especially with the shipping. It comes from Turkey. So you end up paying maybe $80 for, I think this is a 500 gram or a 750 gram roll. Unless you absolutely have to print with ABS for some reason and you want to just use a really good ABS, that's pretty much the only reason I can see using this um, pretty bad. Honorable mention is going to go out to regular old PLA. This is uh, orange PLA from Maker Gear. Uh, very similar to the stuff that came with my printer. I have a Maker Gear M2. It's cheap, uh, it's easy to print with, and it's actually really strong. If you don't want to spend a lot of money and you still want to get strong prints, print PLA. And then you can uh, heat treat it if you want to give it a little more stiffness. But this stuff is, uh, is wonderful. It's a great deal for the price especially. Uh, it just doesn't have quite the same stiffness as the carbon filled. Other honorable mention is just going to go out to Talloy. I don't know if you can even read this anymore. This is Talman Alloy 910. This is a nylon. It is amazingly strong, basically indestructible. You can take a part that's made with nylon and bend it. And no, can't break it. And if I come back in a couple minutes, this will almost be straight again. There's no way you're going to break this stuff no matter what you do to it. Awesome. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time on Let's See If We Can Break It. Bye-bye.